What is going on everyone and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. My name is John and as you guys know I completed the one of the endings actually and I wanted to do the Dead Money DLC which I picked up a while ago and I haven't had a chance to do it until now so I kinda started over here this is where we start um, I discovered the location a while back but I just never did it um, so yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one. If you missed the like actual playthrough of the game, uh, you could find that in the description as well. And this is where we start the Dead Money DLC, so let's get started. Or we are it says recommended for level 20 and up. I think I'm like 18 or 19 right now, so I think we should be okay. Hopefully. Anyway, let's get started. We lose all our weapons and stuff anyway once we, um, like, actually get into it, so. It doesn't even matter what we had. But yeah, if you could hit the like button before we start, that would be really appreciated. And, yeah, enjoy the little scene, I guess. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future, not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flash bulb going off. The grand opening one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. <laughs> Get here. You walked into one of my traps in the Mojave. Following the Sierra and Madre signal. Now, you're here with that collar on your neck. It's like that pit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some to Do what I say, and the collar will go off. Refuse, try and run, disobey me, I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. That structure you see above the fountain, the Sierra Madre Casino, you need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather the team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. Around the hill are three other callers like yours. Caller 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the phone. Then we'll talk to them. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, 
A warning. All your callers are limp. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your Pip-Boy, in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this, I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. Your piece of Rocco trash will help you, I've ensured it. It can latch onto the signal of the callers and tune into their frequencies. The bomb callers come with radios embedded in them. You can eavesdrop easily. It was part of their design to listen in. They can even screen out white noise from the environment to allow greater monitoring. Yes. Caller 8, the FEV reject, the super mutant. He is docile, predictable, and provided he's not starving, should be easy to command. I lost contact with him some time ago. Probably after he dragged you here from the trap. Find him. He'll follow you. Caller or no. A long story. FEV, a virus is an even longer story. It gave birth to the docile one. Turned them into a super mutant long ago. One is a trusted ally. Obedient, caller or no. Although the caller helps. The other two? Well, we'll have to see what the trap's got. Good. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. Okay, so here we are in the beginning of the Dead Money DLC. Let's see. All our items are pretty much gone. We have these for some odd reason. But yeah, all we have is a hollow rifle. With like... No ammo. But anyway, um... We should go find the guy. Where was he? He's all the way down here. Go turn right and go straight. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this DLC. Whoa, hold on. What the fuck? Uh, hold on. Do I have my... My stats are still here. Skills are here. Wait. Okay, I still have this Lord of Death thing, so I should be doing... A lot of damage, hopefully. There was a thing over here. Turn right and straight. I hope I'm going Don't go through the gate to Puesta del Sol yet. Gather the others first. Okay. So there's an achievement for um, recruiting all four people, and obviously, then we go through there. I've actually never done this before, so it's my first playthrough on this. And I'm pretty excited to be doing it. It looked interesting. Should probably get everything we can. Watch out for the villa inhabitants. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. If you can, blow them up or disintegrate them. Uh, whoa, that's... Whoa! That's... That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, I kind of want to save real... Or make a quick save over something. Um, 
We'll save over this one. Alright, so... Hopefully we don't get ambushed by anything. So we just gotta keep going this way. Hopefully find somebody. And yeah, um, I'm recording this as of the 16th. So tomorrow, I don't know when you guys are going to see this actually. Should probably stay away from that. Oh no, the music here is creepy. What the fuck? I don't know. Whoa, you are out of lockpicks, right? Is it in here? Nope. Obviously, we can't go through there yet. We're just poisoned. Not exactly sure what find dog at the police station in the villa. Does that mean we have to go around or something? Noise breaks my stomach hurt. We just can't stand too close or something, and they'll stop beeping. Um, I don't know what this does. Okay, so, probably a good idea to just look at all of this, that, that's a lot. Get extra pistols, I'm gonna make another save over here, make two saves, that's okay. Whoa. Um, take that, that. Do. He's right there, though. I just don't know how to get to him. Wait, hold on. Fuck.
I just want to make sure I'm safe because I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stop beeping. Knew you would come below the cage. Down to where I am. Maybe you saw the letters I scratched on the villa walls. A little farther. Follow my voice. That's it. The one in the cage? Dog. I had to lock him up. He keeps... disobeying me. Uh-oh. I don't like it. It's when, like, tight corners. Anything could happen. Hold on. Do I have my pistol equipped? Just in case. Uh... That's me there on the table. The disc. My voice. Can't take any chances, though. You may be some victim who simply stumbled down here. If so, can't let you let Dog out. No, not yet. If you're who I think you are, you came to fetch Dog. Use him to drag others here. Now I'll use you and that Pip-Boy you're wearing. You're smart, clever. The key to Dog's cage is simple. Take my voice to the cage above. Let me speak to the beast inside. Dog, back in the cage. Oh. I see. Dog. Back in the cage. Play the basement audio log on your pit boy near the dog cell. So we have to go up to him now and play it, I think. Oh, okay. I'll be good this time. I promise. Dog, back in the cage. What have we here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm, and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. Uh... <laughs> Locked myself in could feel myself letting go, dogs howling, getting louder. It happens when he's hungry and no one's around to tell him no. I've been trapped in here for some time, then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. Fuck, I don't know. Mm. That's the easy explanation. The one humans use. Pre-war technology. As if it's the cause of all ills, mind and body. I needed to come out of the cage to protect Dog from clever humans 
like you. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me. When all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed. Just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages. Like the ones here. It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. He's... eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below. Like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again, tugging like a leash. Interesting. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. Uh... No. No, I don't think so. Even in here, I have more control than you do. I'm not leaving until the one who controls the collars shows. Not his voice, not his hand, not his lackey. Him. And when he comes to see me, we'll settle things. So go on. Go back to your master. Tell him I'm waiting for him. Dog may follow him. I won't. Let's see. Then I still win. I'd rather die in this cell than have Dog follow him any longer. Follow his orders, his commands, desperate for recognition. The old man, he has the need to hold on to the past, to the madre. I'd rather be free, let go of this shell, than have it cage me any longer. No. I don't trust you. Even if you're not working with him, you'll fall into the same trap he did. You may think you can take your revenge. That'll change. You'll start thinking there's a way to have it all. They all wanted their freedom at first. Then, they realized they could get inside the Sierra Madre. After that, their freedom wasn't important anymore. They couldn't let go, just like the old man. So you say you want your freedom? No. Even if you feel that way, it won't last. You'll forget, get greed blind, and you'll turn. <laughs> Dog? You're not talking to him now, are you? No. Even if you could drag Dog out of his cage, you still couldn't get him out of this cage. I put him here for a reason. If he could have escaped, he would have. So here he stays. Of course you can't. This cage is locked tight. From you and the old man. Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen, down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise, 
And then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then... Then Dog comes for you. Drags you here. Me? You were... I don't remember... Must have already... You're... The key? Why, it's the old man. The one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can... talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. Dog obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? You don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage. End you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... No, you wouldn't. If you did, you won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of... Prove it. Hmm. No. No, you're not. Even though Dog's more docile, easier to control. You may regret this. This place... This place is where creatures like Dog can survive. The people that fill its streets. He is as vicious, more vicious than them. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, the shell is difficult to fight in. The inhabitants of the villa, they are difficult to kill. They need to be chopped apart, hacked on the ground, disintegrated if you can. They are difficult to kill, but not to devour. And Dog is always hungry. If he is with you when they fall, he will fall on them. End them. If I am with you, fighting will be far more difficult. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. Yet, you came this far. And I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. Very well. Holy fuck, that was a lot of dialogue. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, yeah. God has given you in my footsteps perks. This perk grants you a bonus in stealth, and as well as the ability to stop lightly. Okay. Okay. Sweet, we gotta level up. Um... Right now, I don't even know. I'm going to put a bonus into my weapons because this is the only thing we have right now. And three more. I guess we'll put it 50 into science. Okay. I don't know what kind of gun this is, but I like it. Ghost Trapper is unconscious. Are 
you gonna shoot? Oh my god, that's not good. What just happened? I didn't even shoot. That was kind of weird. Um. This is kind of weird. It's like I can't even control it. Maybe I'll tear it off your arm. Wear it on my neck. I don't understand. I should probably save after that long dialogue. <laughs> 